Hello everyone, I am back with another tutorial. First of all, I would like to tell you that some of you already watched my car animation video which I posted on Instagram. I am very happy to share a glimpse of that animation with you. Thank you so much for your lovely comments and compliments. Let's talk about the problems first. Most of the time when we animate a car, we generally animate the car's position and then rotate the wheels according to the car's movement and sometimes it's quite challenging to match the perfect movement of the car and rotate the wheels accordingly. In this video, I am going to show you the important tips for creating and animating a car in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. As you can see here, we have different layers in this composition, each containing different parts of the car. These include the car body, front tire, rear tire and the ground layer. There's also a null layer which I renamed to the car controller. So firstly we need to parent the shapes to the car controller. But before doing that make sure it's at the center of this car. Then select the layers and parent them to the car controller. Now you can see that you can move the car using this car controller. To animate the car, open the position properties and add the keyframe. Then go to the two and a half seconds and move the car like this to create another keyframe. Now you can see in the ramp preview that it's moving in a linear way. Now we want the rear wheel to rotate according to the car's position. To do this open the rotation properties of the rear wheel, hold alt on the keyboard and click on the rotation stopwatch to open the script panel for this shape. Select the pick tool and drag it to the position value of the car controller like this. You will see a script written automatically in the rear tire script panel. Let me explain what it means. If I play this video. You can see our wheel rotating according to the car's position. It's very precise as you can see here. After that, do the same thing with the front tire. Now you can see both wheels rotating according to the car's movements. If I ease those keyframes and open the graph editor, you can see the, the curve starts slowly and stops slowly like this. If I change the car's speed, you can see our wheels behave according to the car's speed or the movements. It's a significant time saver when animating a car in Adobe After Effects. No matter what type of graph you create, the wheels behave according to the car's movements. I hope you found these tips helpful. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.